Good evening, YouTube. Okay, a few days ago, Yahoo News had a rather strange story from the Associated Press. And they're saying here, uh, power grid change may disrupt clocks. A year-long experiment with the nation's electric grid could mess up traffic light security systems in some computers and make plug-in clocks and appliances like programmable coffee makers run up to 20 minutes fast. They also go on to say that um, they will be fast or slow by up to 14 seconds per day, which is quite a variation. So, so why are they making this claim? Because it's bogus for a start, because these clocks do not base it, their timing on the frequency of the power being delivered to them. They use a quartz oscillator, and the quartz crystal is what determines the speed of the clock. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run a little experiment here. I've got a bunch of clocks, and I've got the computer set up to internet server time using window, uh, time.windows.com, which is just a standard Windows time server. Let's synchronize it right now. I set it up about 6 o'clock. In fact, I set it up exactly at 6 o'clock, and these are all synchronized to the internet server time. And I'd expect them still to be synchronized. Okay, so it's just been synchronized. Let's see. Pull up one of these clocks. This is one's got second hands showing, or the seconds showing. And as you can see, as close as I could get to being perfect synchronization. So we've got a bunch of clocks here, and what we're going to do is each day I'm going to take note of how many seconds they've gained or lost. And over a period of time, we should find that they, some clocks are fast and some clocks are slow, but they'll be consistently fast or slow. However, if it turns out that these clocks collectively become faster and faster over time, apparently, or slower and slower over time, then you can either say these four clocks are collectively all moving out of sync together, or the internet time server is being adjusted by a varying amount day by day. And why would that be? Well, internet time server is based on the atomic clocks. The atomic clocks give us solar time. 